Well, we're confident that the Chinese leadership is considering the provision of lethal equipment. We also don't see that a final decision has been made yet, and we don't see evidence of actual shipments of lethal equipment. Uh, and that's why I think Secretary Blinken and the President have thought it important to make very clear what the consequences of that would be. According to CIA Director William Burns, the United States is confident that China is considering sending lethal aid to Russia for its war against Ukraine. Burns made the comment in an interview with CBS's Face the Nation, one week after U.S. Secretary of State Anthony Blinken began publicly accusing Beijing of considering such a step. We are very concerned that China is considering providing lethal support to Russia in its aggression against Ukraine, uh, and I made clear that that would have uh, serious consequences uh, in our relationship as well, something that President Biden has shared directly with President Xi on several occasions. Blinken's warnings come as China struggles to continue presenting itself as a neutral peace broker in the Russia-Ukraine war, while maintaining its no-limits partnership with Moscow. Beijing's efforts to perform the delicate balancing act of appeasing Ukraine's allies and the Kremlin has only caused further friction with the West. China was one of 32 countries that abstained from a UN vote calling on Russian forces to immediately withdraw from Ukraine. Russian President Vladimir Putin recently said that Chinese President Xi had agreed to a meeting in Moscow, and that summit is expected to take place in the coming months. President Joe Biden recently said in an interview that he did not expect China to provide lethal weapons to Russia for use in Ukraine, but he pledged that the U.S. would respond if such a move occurred. I don't anticipate, we haven't seen it yet, but I don't anticipate a major initiative on the part of China providing weaponry to, to, uh, uh, to, to, to Russia. U.S. officials began speaking to media outlets about diplomatic efforts to convince Beijing to deny the Kremlin's weapons request after Blinken went public with the U.S. assessment.